everyone. Welcome to painting class. I am so happy to have you guys, although this is going to be a very interesting painting class experience for reasons. Um, but for my ceramics class that was opposite of you guys first semester for C period, I started off with a little tour uh, beginning in my house because I'm frequently asked by students, hey, what kind of art do you have at home? What interests you? What inspires you? And so, you know, in the interest of keeping it real and starting off with some stuff, I just thought I'd give you a quick little tour of some paintings that I have and some art in my house. Currently hanging up, I go through and switch things periodically, although um, teaching takes up a lot more time. So most of the art in my house, fun fact, isn't even hung up. It's kind of propped up against the wall. Now I have to fix those holes that I now that I own a house. So if I want to change the painting, home improvement. Anyway, I thought I'd start here in the breakfast nook dining room. Uh, my cat is also hanging out. Kitty, do you want to say hi? No, he's really mad because the treat drawer is right behind me and I'm not digging in it. Uh, but I wanted to start out with one painting that is behind me. And this is a painting that was done by my dad's cousin, Anita, who I knew very much. Um, she passed away a few years ago and I inherited artwork from her. Not only artwork that was hers, but art she collected. Um, so this is a Anita Swinderman original. Whoops. So, you know, best painting ever? No. Does it brighten up this little corner of my dining room? Yeah. Do I like it? Yeah. Is it nice to have a piece of original art from someone I knew and loved? Yeah. So there it hangs. Uh, if we go to the opposite wall, Boop, 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 boop. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. There we go. Not too well. I have two pieces of, this is not original art. These are prints. And hold on, let me zoom in on it for you. Why is this so crooked? There's one. And there's the other. And I fell in love with these prints actually as a freshman in college. So these have been um, every place I have lived since I was 18. And I've only recently realized when I went back and looked at some old pictures, how much this has faded. I need to replace it. This should be like pinky orange. Um, and it is now kind of brown, but they're metallic. They're printed on metallic paper and they've got this cool sheen and I just absolutely love it. So those are a set of paintings that I have, well, prints of paintings that I have in my house. Um, I think the real ones are at the Museum of Modern Art. Um, I also keep sort of crap painting that I've done hanging around. And those are what I thought you would find funny and sort of interesting today. So I have just sitting in this bookcase because I have nowhere else to put them. These are also, you can enjoy some of my partner's art. He made this in, I want to say, elementary school. It's a little ceramic there. It's really cute. I, I'm very proud of him for making that at such a young age. Anyway, some most of the stuff is his, but the paintings are mine. Um, and these I made in painting class in college very early on. And they show, I like keeping them around because they show sort of um, some of the early struggles I had and overcame, particularly between this painting and this painting. And if you look really closely, I'm sorry, I'm probably giving you all motion sickness. If you look between these two paintings, um, on this painting, none of the stuff is actually sitting on the table, um, particularly the placemats and this bowl and this mug. Um, they appear to be hovering over the table. And so that was a struggle I had to overcome early on. And I actually did get the hang of it between this painting, which was first, and this painting. And I remember my professor and I having a lot of conversations about this picture. Uh, I had it at the wrong angle. It's still not quite at the right angle, if we're being honest, but it's better than it was. So 
both of these are oil paintings and they are copies off of um, some French watercolors. I have a very light touch when it comes to oil paintings, which is something that my professor talked about. Uh, mine do look more like watercolors. So we might do some paintings um, as well, some copies of paintings, because it is really important to sort of learn by doing and looking at what someone has done and figuring out how to do that. On the floor here, I have some stuff that basically I brought back from my parents' house this summer because they said, hey, you have a house now, start taking your stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay, good point. So I have some kind of horrifying paintings from the same class. So I took a painting class my last semester in college, which you have to start for most college programs when you take art you start with drawing before you can do anything else. So they want you to master that before you move on. Uh, painting I couldn't fit in until my last semester, which was really unfortunate because in many ways it's one of my favorite things. Although I also really loved ceramics. I would have liked to have taken more classes in both of that, but hey, I was a historian. Wasn't like I was gonna grow up to be an art teacher. Yeah, we know how that worked out. Um, but anyway, so I thought I would share these with you. They're both horrifying a little bit. Again, painting, learning process. So this was a still life. Uh, it's a little terrifying because this is a plastic model, but somehow mine looks more real than not. Uh, this sat in the corner of my dorm room for quite a while in college and terrified many people who opened up the door. <laughs> So that is a still life. Please appreciate the art can, the art room trash can in the background, right? These were not meant to be formal exercises. Well, formal exercise, yes, but not a formal work. So our task was to paint what was before us. This one, this one is the back of a naked lady, just so you know, before I pop it up. Um, so this was a live model class, which meant that we painted naked people a lot. And it was great. <laughs> we also did that in drawing class as well. Uh, the human form is really fun to paint. It's probably one of my favorite things. Uh, this was very early on in that process. Uh, this model was both large and also largely pregnant, which we did not know until she went out because she had a baby. Um, one day she wasn't there. We're like, where's the model? And they're like, oh, she just had a baby. We're like, oh, didn't know she was pregnant. It's cool. Um, so she was a larger lady and actually that is super fun to draw and paint because it creates all of these wonderful shadows. Um, we had some skinny models, no fun. You gotta have folds to be fun. So really appreciated that uh, about her. She was very fun to paint. So again, not something I put on my wall because why but uh i have it i don't know what to do with it i can't quite burn it but here it is so now it's terrifying you my professor also really loved to paint large so we did a lot of large pieces two smaller pieces i have here just early on um and we'll do exercises like this as well where you just have black and white uh and nothing else and this one, sorry, this one, I don't think we were actually even given white paint. I think we had to paint in the negative. This one, I like a little better, and I did have this on my wall for years in kitchens to cover up horrible rental cabinet cupboards that come standard with every kitchen. Don't worry, you'll get them too. Um, so yeah, I did have this. This is just a still life we had with wine bottle, another little bottle, um, and a basket of fake fruit, and a round table with tablecloth. So something very simple, also very effective and good to practice on. Practicing bottles and different shapes, really useful. So we'll be doing some of that. Hop over to my living room. So art that inspires me. Um, these, again, I haven't hung these. They're just hanging out. Um, these are three photographs that I not only took in college, but I also developed. Like I printed them, I put in the hours in the dark room. Um, I don't know how to do this where you see the photographs, but not my head and you're not in an angle. That's about as good as we're going to get, I think. So the two on each end was actually my backyard that I grew up in. Uh, my parents were selling our house at the time. So I took those photos knowing that when I came back, the house was not going to be mine anymore. Um, and the one in the middle was in April Fool's Day snow. Um, and that's my college campus. 
one day I'll hang them, not now. <laughs> and then um, in the corner, I just have, I don't know really what to do with these two. So I mentioned uh, my dad's cousin, Anita, earlier. She spent a lot of time with her husband living in South America. And these are two prints I inherited from her from Uruguay. Um, I gotta be honest, I don't, oh, you can't even see it. I don't really like that one, um, but I do like this one. Um, but I feel like they should stay together. So I keep them together. I don't have anything else too entertaining here. I do have this large map, which is just a regular sort of poster. Uh, remember I was a historian, so it's this time of day, the light is coming in all wrong. I was a historian, so I do like historical prints. There we go. So that's an older, like 16th century print of what they thought the world looked like with some fun scenes around it, um, dealing with what I studied back in, back in the day. So we're going to take a little voyage upstairs. I've got two more paintings I wanted to show you. Both of these are original ones that I have done. There you have it. This was the second to last painting I did in art class. Um, this is my lady in blue, as I call her. Um, my dad wanted to hang this in the living room. My mom said no. <laughs> and put a towel over it more pointedly, which was kind of funny. So it is very large. It is like four feet by three and a half feet, something like that. This was again, a live model. Uh, and this is for me where things really started to come together. So we'd been painting live model people all semester. And then this one, I was like, oh, I'm starting to get it. So there are a couple errors on here that do drive me crazy on a daily basis. But for the most part, I'm happy with it. And it's a reminder to just sort of live with your mistakes. <laughs> so um, I have hung her in my bedroom ever since, much the surprise of visitors. <laughs> so there she is. All right, last trip, basement. So we're down in my basement with, I know this doesn't look like on screen a large work, but this is again, three and a half by five, three by five feet, something like that. Um, in fact, it is so big, it lives in the basement because there is nowhere else in my house that is big enough to hang it. I have too many windows, which is a lovely problem to have. So it's out here hanging out with kayaks. So this is my final project in painting class in college. And we were to work from a photograph. And these are some of my friends in college in my shower which was handicapped and literally held six people, as you can see. Uh, and we had gone out mud wrestling. <laughs> and I have this really funny photo of all of us covered in mud. And so I reproduced it. And now it lives here in my basement. I am still friends with several of the people in this photograph. Uh, I am, oh right, I should actually point at the, the painting. So I am this one. Um, this gives you a little better scale because this is me. So this is how big this thing is. So artwork I made 2005. Wish I could hang it elsewhere, but here it lives. So I hope in this class that you guys will make artwork that you take with you and hold on to for a long time. And it doesn't matter if it's the best, if it's got mistakes in it, it should make you happy. It should remind you of growth. And I hope we'll have a fun time together. <laughs> no matter where in the building we might be painting, which fun fact at this point in time, if you guys are all back, um, we could be in the band room, which doesn't have a sink. I'll let you process that. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow, first thing in the morning. I will leave this up. Maybe you watch it, maybe you don't, doesn't matter. Um, if you did, thanks for your patience and I hope you didn't make you seasick. So bye.